blessings, blessings, blessings. We give God all the glory. We thank him for bringing us here. Yes, Father, take control in Jesus' name. Thank you, everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I greet you. Sister Tolu, how are you? I hope you rested well over the weekend. Thank you for joining us and other people that are coming to join. We welcome you. I hope the audio is good. I hope the, uh, the visual is good. Uh, share if you can share. Like. Uh, and subscribe. Uh, share if you can share. Thank you very much. Yes, I can. I've seen it real time. Okay. Uh, the people on Facebook and the people on YouTube, I greet all of you. <laughs> Something is happening. It's only God that will help his people. And uh, Jesus did not left us without warning. We have received all this warning even before this time. So as he's playing out, all we are doing is to warn those people who are ignorant, people who are vulnerable, we are saying our, may they hear, may they listen in Jesus' name. It's about this man, Feyi Daniel. I actually wanted to pre-record, but I think we should do it live, okay? Let's do it live. Um, it comes with its challenges. But we overcame by the blood of Jesus Christ and by the words of our testimony that says we are victorious because we sit together with him in heavenly places far above principalities and the rulers of darkness. So, um, Feyi Daniels of Irene, Actually, I don't know him until recently when I begin to see his activities. We are is uh, giving different uh, prophecies. And even to the extent that somebody said he stole their prophecy. And the prophecy he stole was even fake prophecy. Because that prophecy didn't come to pass. So himself has given another prophecy that will be will be president. And we all see what is going on. Thank you, Sister Penn. You're welcome. Thank you for liking and sharing, if you can. So then I think it was last week, somebody brought my attention to, you know, to his activities. So we did that broadcast. And that is the point where we're going to start. At, okay? I want to read some of the comments his followers came to our platform to drop. And you know that me too, I'll give them <laughs> the way they brought it. So let me just share um, let me share the screen of the one that we did. I think it was last week. Okay. Yes, this is it. Okay. You, you remember this one. And also the visual is, how are you doing? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. 
Oh, this broadcast, I would have loved to do it live. And nevertheless, I did not even want to, you know, play this one back. All I want to do is just to read the comment. Hear the comments of his followers. Somebody said you have been paid by Tinubu. What are we talking about? We are talking about that your pastor raped somebody. You see how these people that, that the the their head is not working. You understand the boat of their head is not working. All right. We are talking about this man raped somebody in that broadcast. Then his followers, they are talking about something else. He said, you have been paid by Tinubu to fight true man of God. If you don't need pro the prophecies, we Nigerian need it. Who are you Nigerians? You cannot talk for all Nigerians. Okay? Then uh, somebody else said, uh, Madam, maybe you should talk on topic that you know much about. Uh, I've been listening to him for a while. Now I have not seen any any fake so far. Hmm. The zombies. And I told them, I said they should goggle. They should goggle his name. But they don't want to. Maybe they are afraid to know the truth. They are afraid to know the truth. Uh, somebody said, but to what end is this about? So it's like, even if he raped, to what what's the big deal so about 10 people were you know replying somebody said interesting stuff the assistant pastor acted foolishly okay okay that's a quick uh, somebody with common sense he has had both sides and is talking about the subject matter all right somebody said you said you don't know about the story why don't you focus on what you know. I never said I do not know. You know, it's on Google and uh, yeah. So go there and deal with it. Somebody said you have been paid by the evil one. Your pastor is the evil one. You don't know. Somebody said you need serious help, ma'am. Whatever you seek to achieve with this will not work. Okay. A lot of it has worked already. Because a lot of people's eyes have opened, okay? And people have known that he's a rapist. So make your findings properly. It's you that you need that findings, okay? Somebody said, Ma'am, go and verify for yourself first. Aha! This person, uh, Bayola, said, Gogu his name. He Gogu his name. And he was shocked at the feedback womanizing, I didn't even see it to that point, rape, stealing prophecies, and fake claim of mentoring by old, he also, you know, said that, by old CAC prophet, I is stuck in trade. I was totally disappointed. Those people who have been following him before. Then this, this uh, uh, zombie, he said, how much did they pay you? To lie against, even if they are seeing it, they don't want to. Say, why don't we focus on the change in the country? You see now that they want to uh, take our eyes away from what he has done. Deborah said, Madam, why now? You see now, women are the enemies of women. They say he raped a woman, and women don't even. They don't want to listen. Okay? Somebody just said outrightly, Kevin, he said, lie. Somebody said, as I listen, the more I hear lies. Okay? Why does he sound like Suleiman? Which of the prophecy did Bishop Feist told? These are his internet rats. It's, so there are lots, you know, the... It's just unending. Yes, Sister Tolu is saying that sound like his followers are blinded. Of course, you know, they are blinded. 
you know i've sent this uh this uh, uh broadcast out since 12 a uh, 12 p.m so when i was about to come there are some you know irregularities going so i thought maybe they were bringing out some you know demonic hand so we put them to where they belong kemi blessings good afternoon so that is just it that is number one okay number two what i want to say is that i want to advise everybody including myself listen we are in the time of technology called information you should be very careful what you do if you think maybe like in the 80s or 90s that whatever you do somewhere it will not you know people will know you're lying you better go and change if you say you have repent repent totally and if it's something that you have done that is on the internet continue every day to be addressing it so that people will know that yes he has repent continue oh there was one time oh if i were people like him there was one time when i i didn't know what i was doing and uh, i raped somebody you know i'm just using that to to warn you so that you will not do that again you understand people will not call you out they will know that yeah i remember there is a man during the time of sule saga during the time of sule saga so that man came out to defend sule but because i know the what that man had done before googling his name the thing just pop up again it just came up again the same thing i'm saying that we need to be very careful if you don't kill sin hey sin with this disgrace you the name of the, that man is this man sam okwe Defending Apostle Sule, his partner of crime. Do you know what happened to this man? You see that even his name has died down. Because at that time, it was just everywhere. You know, he sings, he's a psalmist, he sings. So he always do crusades everywhere. Then it happened that demons that usually, you know, push them or maybe they do some uh, voodoo and that is the pattern they want them to do this man went for if what happened didn't happen nobody would know this man went for a crusade yes they call it crusade then after the crusade this man carrying one of the choir choir girls, a married woman, to his hotel room. And that was how they had some rumpus and the woman died under him. Can you imagine? So you, you look at it, it's, you know, it's on the internet. Housewife, gospel artist, invited by pastor, found dead in hotel in his room in his room you see now female gospel singer da 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 founded owned by former lawmaker she allegedly lodged into the hotel with a lagos based pastor whose name was given as apostle sam Ope of the fresh oil ministry by the time we we search again do you know that the, the that man followers they will also come and say we are talking nonsense instead of them to address the real issue you understand it's because these people they are not they have not 
given their life genuinely to Christ. That is why their sins are catching up with them. Do you understand? So, when that lady died in Opope's uh, hotel room, it was Sule. You know, Sule is influential. He knows some, some top people. So, he bribed his way. They shot the husband's of the late woman mouth. The man was crying. By the end of the day, nobody hear the case again. It was too late that, you know, that made this story to disappear. But thank God, it has been registered online. So when Sule had his issue, instead of this man to keep quiet, you understand? Instead of this man to keep quiet, that was how he came out to, to defend Sule. And people help him to bring out his uh, to defend. Okay. Yeah. And People help him to bring out his dirty linen and say, shut up. So we don't even hear much about him. We don't even hear about him. You see how sin just disgraced him and silenced him. Sin is really bad. In my intro, I said, I never see pastor raping pastor, except in the synagogue. All the girls under TB Joshua, he mama them. Some run away, some, you know, they have some mental problem. And uh, except one that, you know, that she and her husband, they came out to, you know, to talk about it. And uh, I think I sent you the, the link in my on, on my web page you understand yeah i sent you the link so that you 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 can go and check it out not only that there is another thing part of what we are saying concerning being careful there is a lady who wants to contest she wants to contest you know, our enemy dig into archive. Look at it. You see now? This is information time. We need to be very careful. The same meets Labour Party, Chinedu Roads, Fever's Running Mate. Our Omo answers. Look at the lady. See, a smoke is coming from her eyes, nose, and mouth. Is this person who wants to lead? So now, look at the other picture. She has packaged herself. But the people that know her, you understand? They, they dig into her archive. That is why the time we are in, we need to be very careful. Your sin will find you out. If you are doing it privately, it will find you out. It will disgrace you. It will not spoil the work of God because the work of God is more than you. The work of God is more, more than you. The kingdom of God is more than you. It's you that you be stopped you because of insincerity because of you know carelessness and yeah so this is why one need to be very careful okay be that as it may now let's come back to Feyi in my flyer I said Feyi is a chartered bishop Somebody sent me something that made me to come to that point. Okay. Uh, later, we will go back to the
continuation of the the updates on his rape story okay see okay why is it now uh okay that person i think the person tried to contact uh uh contact Feyi, maybe for counseling or something if you are using um just like me if you are using whatsapp uh business yeah, uh, if you are using WhatsApp business, the moment you contact me, the first thing that will come, it's automatic uh, message. Okay, we have put it there. So it's automatic. It will just drop and say, you are welcome to Bissola Johnson Foundation. Freedom to the captives. Okay, Jesus is Lord here. Whatever you, uh, whatever help that you want, kindly stipulate it so that we will get back to you. Okay, subscribe to our YouTube channel, so, 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 Twitter, uh, email, and all that. So, same thing. When this person that sent that message to me contacted Feyi, I don't have his number. I didn't even bother to ask. But people like this, I don't even. So, uh, the moment when the man contacted him, what came shocked the man. That's why he shared it with me. This is what came there. You see, this is Feyi Daniels. So, what he said, oh no, sorry. Okay. What he said is VIP, a 30 minute prophetic session for politicians, CEOs, VIP, etc. Hey, Feyi. This as even, you know, okay, I think it's in his uh, website. You see, look at it. Anybody who wants to go to his website, go and see it. Because many of you, you continue to say we are lying, lying, lying. Look at his, you know, feyidaniels.com. It's a VIP, a 30 minute prophetic session. Is a chartered prophet, prophet for politicians, not for just anybody on the street. Too. It's not for poor people. Foolish man. He said the venue will be at his office or a hotel. Hey! The venue will be at the politician's office. CEO office. VIP's office or an hotel. That is why they then they rape, then they they have sex anyhow. A virtual session is also an option. Okay, you will be at home, you know, on on maybe on Zoom. Kindly state below the gift you wish to send to him. Ah, before the meeting. Ew. If cash, pre preferably in dollars. Huh? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Ah. Hey, VVIP, a one hour prophetic session at the location of your choice, even if they are going to kidnap him and kill him. 
medium of transportation, preferably a chopper or a private jet. This guy has mental problem. Ah, a virtual section is also an option. Kindly state below the gift you wish to send him before the meeting. Of course, preferably in dollars. So the man said, this is what pastor demands to have a section with him. So, so he said, I thought he called, uh, called men of God to serve. Reconnect people back to Christ. Just look at the demand. If Abalis can't demand all this, evidently Sheyi Daniels hasn't changed from his old ways. Okay, those people knew him from old. All of us, we are coming from somewhere. But with all this, the guy has not changed. He's still hiding behind the podium. He's a criminal, very, very criminal. So, me, I, you know, when I saw this, I shout, I say, yeah. Are you online? Well, it looks like uh, the man has left. Looks like the man has left. Now, wow. Ah. So, um, yeah, I have... Uh, <laughs> Whatever happened to free to freely? <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm 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 so weak. I'm so weak. It's like baby come to the point of delivery, and there's no power to deliver the baby. After reading this, anyway. Um, you know, the other time we said we saw it online and his uh, followers begin to talk rubbish. Evangelist Victor, you're welcome. Sister Oshie, you're welcome. Dudu Sile, you're welcome. So, uh, continue. We will come back to that is demand. Because that one, it really weakened me. So now, uh, after we have talked about him um, raping somebody, I actually wanted to do something, but I'm not going to say it online. Let me keep it, you know. You know, that's the way I operate. So when it's done, I will bring it back here, all right? So... After we have done that, uh, my attention was called. I even thought that, oh, the, the matter has died down, the victims is not coming out. But no, Lagos State government is interested. I understand that she, Feyi has been, invite, he has been invited before and he has slept in police custody. But if this is happening in his life, why zombies are still following him? I remember when they arrested T.B. Joshua for drugs. He was into drugs. Oh, ha. There are lots of uh, drug cartels that usually visit him. They will carry bags and live with him. He will say he's spraying over it so that when they go through uh, security checkup at the airport, they will not see it. It's going to be on the night that those people will travel out, that you see them. They come and carry their bags. Until one day, there's one man Mr. Vincent. Mr. 
Sir Vincent was arrested at Etro. Me, I didn't know. I was the one coordinating Mr. Vincent. There are a lot of things he has brought into the synagogue. Brought for TB Joshua. Uh, printing machine, perfume, you know. Like as we are saying here, you know. I don't know how those people are getting gift and money from people. I don't, is it not, the, you know, I don't know. If you see what Mr. Vincent usually bring, I was the one that would collect it and go and deliver it. So when TB Joshua is ready to see him, he said, call him. So they arrested him, but I didn't know. But there is a lady called Bosse. She worked directly in the office of TB Joshua. Maybe when they were discussing it, Bosse had me, I was in the studio. So at that time, any international calls, nobody picks it. They, will, they must call me to come and pick the call. I don't know the guy English, where they talk. With the, you understand, you know what I ma a man is... Uh, leader of blind people so so then you know any big visitors they push me forward then when the call came in they call me so i went to pick the call mr vincent said to me please tell papa um uh, october 11. i usually don't forget you know some stuff October 11 is my case in court. Let me tell him to pray. Finish. So when he came, he was not around. Tibi Joshua was not around. When he came back from where he went, and somebody told me that he was in the office. So I enter into his office. Sometimes some people may not they will be afraid to go to his office, but because I need to deliver messages. So I enter his office as usual. Everybody will need them. I have this my list. You understand? Like paper like this. So that I will not forget any message. So I begin to read. Somebody call. Somebody call. When it got to the point of Mr. Vincent. If you, see, I did. I even thought there was a earthquake or maybe lightning. I was shocked. You understand something I was not expecting. Oh, I just had that sound on my face. Hey, I, 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 everything became black. At the moment, you know, TV Joshua charge on people. Everybody will run away. So then I, when I came back to myself, I went back to the studio. Filming. I was filming. Maybe later he may call you and give you, you know, money, you know, this, that, that. Oh, it's just. So it was Bosse, Bosse One, Bosse Black. Who now told me, say, oh, Sabisola, sorry. That man has been arrested in Etro. And uh, Papa do not want Interpol to trace his call down to synagogue. Is it my fault? How have I, you know, what fault? Do I, when they were doing uh, uh, drug business, do I know? You call me to coordinate anyway. That just left. After they arrested that man, it's like T.B. Joshua's uh, uh, medicine. Juju spoil over them. Every time they begin to arrest people. Every time, you know, that knows him. 
So it was one or some of those people who, who you know, pointed to Tibi Joshua that he was the one backing them up. That was why NDLA arrested him. And before they came to arrest him, you know these people, they usually hear information. When it was two or three days to arrest him, there is a story building in his mountain. That story building just caught fire. It became a mystery till today. We believe that there are some things inside that building. Maybe it's the one that said they should put fire into that building. So anyway, they arrested him and he went to eat beans for maybe nine or 13 days, you know. So these people, they are evil. Evil, evil, evil. So concerning this man, there is a development. And I'm going to read it to you now. His followers, after this, uh, <coughs> Sister Shem, you're welcome. Thank you, beautiful TikTok. June, you're welcome. Um, afterwards, you can go and, you can go and read. Okay. Okay, look at it. Lagos ordered bishop's prosecution for rape of pastor so he's in bad trouble all this rubbish uh what do you call it is rubbish prophecies we see the end even till now he's still insisting that it's still you know peter will be that we enter foolish confused man the Lagos State Directorate of Public Prosecution Ministry of Justice has ordered the arrangement of a lucky based pastor, Bishop Olua Feyi Rocco Feyi Daniel, over the alleged rape of an assistant pastor of the church and another lady. Okay, there are two. Daniel is the founder of Irene Ministry. He is the man that said they went to to one place to preach naked they can they can lie and has been trending on social media for making prophecies about outcome of election <laughs> saturday okay saturday Bob punch gathered that the case against him was being investigated at the first criminal uh, investigation department alagbon ikoyi we at least two of his victims has made statements. The Lagos State Domestic and Sexual Violence Response Team has also been involved in the matter. I hope his uh, I hope his uh, members they are seeing this because they will come now and be saying that Tinobu bribed me. The case file was forwarded to the DPP last year when investigation was said to have been concluded. However, the several months the legal advice was not released as the victim's alleged compromise on the path of the FCID, Ikoyi, and the state government. Our correspondent, who confirmed that the legal advice was issued in December 22 and the cleric has yet to be prosecuted, decided to apply for the certified true copy of the advice. So on Thursday, so you see now this is recent and the, and this uh, publication, look at it, is uh, uh, it's recent, I think I saw that, um, that date, 18th. 18th, I saw that date somewhere. So you see all, 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 all. So, uh, Daniel is going to be prosecuted. There is a case, they have found a case against him. Okay? I wish T.B. Joshua was prosecuted before.
before he died. Even though there, there is this case against him, you know, in the high courts, Lagos High Court in Keja. Three girls of the same father, the same mother. Under age, for that matter. Their father died, and uh, the mother was member, and they now say, ah, because your husband died, you, let me help you. Who will not receive such help? So bring your children. Let me send them to school. Underage girls. I remember one of the girls. You want me, <laughs> you want me to read it to you? One of the girls, she will Eh? These people, they are evil, 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 evil. Do you know that for all the time they have been in court before he died, that guy didn't go to court. There was time in 100 million naira. 200 million naira. 200 million naira. So they struck the case out. And those people, they were adamant. They continue applying to different courts. From Madrid court to high court. You understand? Because ah, the, the mother, the, their mother, the matrack of their home couldn't even get herself together. Three girls, 11, 13, and I think 14. Yeah? Yeah, those three girls. Okay, look at it. Uh, we don't want our very, very wicked people. Very wicked people. And when we are talking, they would think maybe, you know, who, 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 who look at the Abiolas. Mr. Abiola, a very rich trailer transporter, who lived on Abiola Adeyemi Street, Governor Road, in Cotton, Lagos, took TB Joshua. Then his name was Abdul Fatai into his home. He fed him, accommodated him. When TB Joshua was still a struggling young man, Lagos until he disappeared from their house to join himself with one celestial prophet called Lion of Judah and Professor Pella, the magician, respected respectively. The humble room which accommodated Abdul Fatai alias TB Joshua at that time is still in the compound of Abiola till, till date. Later in years, vicissitude of life blew on Abiola family. And as one who was not standing strong in the Lord, they began knocking on several doors of prayer houses and patronized many spiritual arrangers. Believing these contractors, who help turn their dwindling financial situation around for good. One day, according to the late father, a family friend of theirs introduced the Abiolas to the synagogue. It was a pleasant surprise for Abiola Patrak to meet. Uh, TB Joshua once again in life, but this time not as a struggling, struggling young man. He knew him to be, but as someone who he thought to be in position of spiritual authority to help his family solve their lives redo. After both men recognized each other, Mr. Biola and TB Joshua, and they catch up on what led to the separation and what happened after they got separated. 
Mr. Biola trusted TB Joshua because he thought kindness begets kindness. The family has won at once upon a time shown for time. Now TB Joshua kindness. Now they believe it was payback time. Ah. The Abiolas joined the synagogue in full force, accepting TB Joshua as their as member of their family. Uh, Abiola Matrak, their mother, became one of the good women, and the Patrak was active in another department. After a long period of time of dedication, their situation did not change for better. Rather, T.B. Joshua proposed to Mr. Abiola to join his disciples fully. The elder man declined due to old age and family responsibilities. Whenever Ms. Abiola visited the synagogue in those days to ask for help, they always asked him for help. T.B. Joshua would send me. I was involved. You understand? Would send me to, to the cash office to collect some smallest denomination of banknotes of the amount he intended giving to the elderly man and pack it in a brown envelope so that it will look big to deceive Mr. Abiola. It will weigh heavy in Mr. Abiola's hand as if the minister has given him some large amount of money, which would disappoint him when he gets home. Soon after, Mr. Abiola died and was buried. After burial, Timmy Joshua took into his custody Mr. Abiola's underage three girls under the guise to relieve Mrs. Abiola of too much of, board, of financial burden. What's a noble thing to do? But can T.B. Joshua be this good? They trusted him, but T.B. Joshua betrayed their trust by sexually abuse those underage girls with many abortions committed for them. I remember the time when one of them, Shenwa Biola, a very quiet, gentle, talented girl, newly joined the disciple quarters. T.B. Joshua had called me out of the studio one night into his living room to rub dust and powder on his body before he sleep. It is a usual thing in the synagogue which ladies do for T.B. Joshua why he will be stuck naked. So this very day, Shewabiola was also there with us. I was doing one part of the body, Shewu was busy with, it, with the other part, as T.B. Joshua laid on his belly on a couch. At a time, T.B. Joshua would take Shewabiola's hand and dip it into his boxer to rub his private part. But because the girl was just a minor, of 14 years old. She will say, no, please, uh, squeezing her face to show her displeasure. Shyly face down. After a while, Timmy Joshua excused me out and I went back to the studio, leaving Shewu behind with Timmy Joshua. Shewu continued to enjoy the privilege of the new girl in the block by staying alone with Timmy Joshua all night until she gradua graduated and became very bold among the disciples. And we all knew that Shewu has been inducted into the inner of, of sex faith. Of Mojo joined as disciples, and Mojo, the youngest of them, 11 years old, followed. After many years, they had lived in the synagogue without going to school, but they were working in the studio and were also members of the choir, choir, chorister because of their voice talents. Things took a new turn when one day, as the, oh, uh, okay, oh, that's all I can read. That's all I can read. It's really terrible. So all these people. Now, Fei is going to face prosecution. All right? There's no, no gainsay about it. 
you have seen what uh, is 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 the this Shelly is not it does not know Christ. It does not know Christ. See what is 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 using. You can go to his uh, website. It is his website. He said VIP, thirty minute prophetic session for politician CEO, CEO. VIP. The venue will be at his office or hotel. A virtual section is also an option. Kindly state below the gift you wish to send to him before the meeting. If cash, preferably in dollars. He also said they should come and take him with chopper. That is why I was saying that if I want to deceive people to be rich, I will do. Because a lot of people will be contacting me. Oh, I didn't survive TV Joshua. I will survive this TV Joshua. I will have told them there is a certain prayer I pray. But before I can release that prayer, just like she Fei, okay, you have to uh, do a seed. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, you will not believe it. Before I come to this broadcast, I, I drank Gary and I'm, and I'm pleased. I'm pleased. I cook nice beans and I'm pleased that to eat turkey chicken, you know, this, this is because of uh, the money come from deceiving people. So it is this kind of people that will not allow the true church of Jesus Christ to, to move forward. For people of God to move forward and to live humbly, they will always put people in the church on long jump. People on long jump. If you have to go to school, I mean, to church, you cannot put on palm sander. They will look at you and say, go and sit down somewhere there. You know, you have to dress. There's a way you dress. There's a way you package. So this young man, when they see that they, there's no money, they will do ritual. Because their pastors too are doing rituals. Their pastors are felicitating with uh, you know, Government officials, look at this one. Say they should come and use chopper to carry him and give him money in dollars. Same thing with Pastor Adeboye. All of them. All of them. With OR, we can stand to tell them there was one bishop in Nigeria. You know, I, I do respect him. But one day I call Adeboye out. The man blocked me. I said, if you like, block me. You're not blocking me. How is he adding value to my life? You're not blocking me. How is he putting food on my table? You understand? So I one day I use a number that number to lash him. <laughs> they don't even know. We are already dead. You understand? We are not looking for their for for their what do you call it favor? I use a number that number to lash him. I say, eh? Hey. Now, so I have the screenshots. One day, Matago reached that level. Eh? There is one. He thought maybe because uh, maybe he helped me sometime. One day, they said the man was a witch. Now, me first call her out. I say, <laughs> and this is it. So, he now sent me a message. He said, call me. Call, call witch. I didn't call him. Oh, ew. I ran. These people. Mm. Salvation is a lonely journey. It's a lonely journey. We do not, for me, I don't, it, don't let me 
they say we. Let me say for myself, I don't envy them. You know, because these people, I don't even know how they sleep at night. Yeah? With all the time that they are dying on the road because of money, that was when Adeboye go and open one twin twin uh, story building for church. If you see how they lavish money, God know where they see one white man. The camera is always on the white man. <laughs> Maybe they went to carry the man in Lekki or something. The camera is always on the white man. So, Fei Daniels of Irene, if possible, I will be in court. I just want to know the dates. Okay? Why I will, I will support the victims? Is because we run NGO that say no to rape, especially in holy place called church. Okay, so you may you may be touch, you may you know have a you know is skin cut and shave but a rape a rapist is a rapist a rapist is a rapist so we have done this and um, we'll keep we'll keep you updated because we are already an hour Yeshua Mashia go and watch the broadcast over again we are already done thank you very much my darling sister julie julie how are you well done well done at your end blessings to you please everybody help me subscribe to sister julie's uh, page thank you very much god bless you sister Shun, god bless you yeshua mashia is better late than never Thank you for joining us. Mary Okafo, June, thank you very much. Evangelist Victor, my dear O'Shea, Dudu Sili, Kemi Blessings. Nobody is talking. Oh, I hope the internet is good. I hope we are communicating. Sister Tolu, how are you? Pen Anna, thank you very much. Sylvanus. I greet you, I greet you, I greet you, I greet everyone. Why we are coming is that we love the truth and we say no. You know, that's what I was telling uh, that lady, that uh, uh, physical challenge lady, Ruth. I say there are two things you must avoid. Don't, uh, you, you are married. Don't love men. You, you understand? You know, looking at different men. Number two, don't love money. Because these are the things that we used to trap you. But she didn't listen. She wants money, and even later, I even hear that she, she used money to import one man. <laughs> import one man. So... Like their father, the devil, Satan, the prophetic serpent. Yeah. We always tell people that they see vision does not mean they are operating in the higher realm of God. Which of Endo saw something now? Have you forgotten? Huh? Simon the sorcerer, was that not something he was doing that it made, you know, even the, the eye and the low to be following him that the whole city of Samaria were deceived? What about that slave girl? Is it not certain power she was using to see that this
These men are men of God. I mean, saying the truth. But which power are you using? So, you see now confusion everywhere. Chris Okafor said he saw 46 angels. He counted them. And those people, they were not Peter will be. Then another one say he saw angels. They, they were shouting, bola, bola, bola. Another one say no election. Even I saw lot yesterday, but I decided that I beg, we have talked enough on them. Oh, say no election. The, the person who said Tinubu will die before election also now say Tinubu will win. What a confused people. That's why I ask, why is your God interested in causing confusion? He loves confusion. And at the end of the day, you hear their, their grand wizard, the Holy Spirit confusing. And these same, these same pastors are the friends of the politicians. They are the one that will promise one politician this, or another politician that. Then they will now use their member as voters base. So they will tell their members, go and vote for this. Then when, the moment those people get there, it's only the pastors that will be getting the benefits of democracy. democracy. Their members will be dying, will be complaining. It's only these pastors who use the members will be visiting the government's lodge. And they will not tell them that, come, my people are suffering. We have seen Adeboye now. Eh? We have seen Oyedeko. Seen all of them. There was a time they even they even capture one uh, our president. They said Nigeria land is not holy enough. A pastor carry him to Israel to go and pray in Israel. But at the end of the day, he failed. So that means. Their God doesn't hear. The only place they say they go is not holy. Thank you very much. We appreciate you. We continue to stand for the truth. Yes, continue to stand for the truth. Uh huh. Uh huh. Feyi Daniels. Feyi Daniels. Yeah. Look at this. Um, okay, let me see. Let me show you. I don't know particular place where that man, because I always like to give people fear hearing. Hmm? Look at this is, um, and that thing. Look at the signature. It also shows on that uh, on that place. I don't know where particular that man saw that uh, that one. I would love to see it. Uh, should not be type attached document. It could be when people are complaining. Maybe they remove it. Huh? But I can see that signature. Okay, yeah. This is uh is every everywhere. Mm, every special partner. Okay, they have special partner. Bible days till now, men and women have enjoyed the grace of a saint man through partnership. And by this, I refer to prompt to do giver. Blah, 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 blah. Invite. Let me 
Messe, Olepides, get a host. Won't specially invite, fill a form. Okay. Uh, join team. I want to see that place that that man sent. partnership with Irene. Um, school of my office. Okay, let me see this one. Prophetic session.
So I said, okay, uh, after broadcast, we will see. But we didn't get to see till 9. I promised at 9 p.m. So the moment it was 8.59, I put a call to her. So if our our Feyi, I will, I will tell her, please make sure you pay me $5,000. Ah, ah, now wow. Hey, you could not suffer. You know, before anything, you know, yeah, I have what you need. And Jesus said, freely you are given and freely give. Accept they give you. Don't demand. Don't place demand. On this platform, we have never, never, never placed demand. Eh? No wonder I drink Gary this afternoon. <laughs> eh? He said, preferably, chopper. Of private jets. You know, that is why you see them, you know, online giving wicked prophecies. So, those, you know, politicians, they will seek them. You know, when we're in the synagogue, we know how many of them that there was one day they used private jets to come and pick uh, TB Joshua to Gambia. And at the end of the day, the man died. So, then, the son of the man replaced him. That son is on which year now? Even before T.B. Joshua Kwe. Can you imagine what audacity? This guy is a criminal. And he needed to be to be dealt with. If not because, you know, everywhere is porous, you know, everything, anything just goes. People like this, they're supposed to have been behind the bar a long time ago. And small time afterwards, I thought, you know, I intentionally did live broadcasts on him. I will have done, uh, you know, pre-recorded around 11. I thought maybe his foolish members will come here. The same way they came after, you know. That's why I said, let's do life. Let's, let's, let's see eyeballs to eyeballs. Since 12 o'clock, I have put the invitation out kingdom journey is a lonely journey no god for yourself huh. no god for yourself if you are following charlatans do you know some people say if your heart is clear if can you know, even if you are fellowshipping in synagogue, do you hear what Jesus said? It will be as blind leading the blind. Where do two of them end? Inside the ditch. Inside hell. A blind, a wicked man is leading you. A Sangoma is leading you. You are telling me you are a Christian. Are you not the one that's supposed to lead him? An abalist is leading you. A rapist is leading you. And you are saying something that uh, if my mind is clear. Psalm 133 says, as the oil drops like all on Aaron's head to his beards and down to his skirts. So the anointing, that raping anointing, that lying anointing, that is why in the synagogue, all of them are liars. 
because T.B. Joshua was a pathological and compulsive liar. Everybody at that time. So the anointing flows from the head. So, so wherever you, then you want to go. And he's having this case. Instead of him to withdraw from circulation. Wicked man. Instead of him to withdraw from circulation. To go and think about his head. Or begin to. You have enough problem. Leave Nigeria problem. Instead of you to come online and say you have problem. You have done wrong. And you want people to. Please help you. You are stealing people's uh, prophecy. Even the prophecy you stole was fake. <laughs> you stole fake prophecy to show that you do not even see anything. It shows on your website now. You are only about money. The money you want to collect from people. So that when they carry you in uh, in chopper or in uh, what do you call private jet, you will share the uh, video. And these are the people. The moment they enter inside the private jet, it's photo shoots. So that you can share the pictures for people to think you are something that you are not, and be using that point even to deceive more people. You people, una chop witch. Una chop witch. Now, wow, you need to repent, oh. You need to repent, oh. You know the fear, oh. Ah. Even if person talks small lie, you, you, you go back to God and say, oh, you have done something. What if Jesus come now? Eh? And do you know that the worst of this is that this kind of people, they will continue to sleep with women. It's part of their packaging. You see how few we are here. Because they will not hear the truth. But we are, they are doing, amen, 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 amen. You will see a lot of people, they will be there. In fire, fire, you have been crying for the past how many years? Nothing is burning. The people that in your family that you are saying die, 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 every time you are still seeing them and they are still tormenting you. Won't you wake up to know that these people they are the one behind your case? Thank you very much. We appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone here. God bless you. Till we see you again. To say this before I go, uh, Yeshua said, Anytime people enter into any church in Nigeria, you automatically giving your life to Satan unknowingly. This is very fearful. This is fearful. That's why we say, Anytime you go to church, don't forget your brain at home. When you see that what they are doing is not according to the word of God. Make the best use of your legs. God bless you.